Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good evening, I'm Amira David and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. One person is dead and two others are in critical condition after a brawl broke out at a gas station on Detroit's west side. This happened just after midnight at the marathon on Livernoy. Started as some type of fight that escalated and someone went off with a knife. Weston Book Cadillac workers are on strike. They walked off the job early this morning, demanding higher wages and better insurance plans. According to the workers, their contract expired in June and they weren't happy with Marriott's recent offer and have been trying to negotiate a new and better deal. Weston Book Cadillac and its owner Marriott International released a statement saying in part that they are disappointed the union decided to strike, but their hotels will remain open. Right now, Detroit police need your help finding a teenager. His name is Dondrell Gordon Jr., 15 years old. He was last seen leaving his home on Sunset near Seven Mile at around 830 last night. He was last seen wearing a navy blue hoodie with bleach stains on the back, along with black pants and black gym shoes. If you've seen him, please call Detroit police. And switching gears here to weather, seems like we have a warm-up on the way, right, Hallie? Absolutely. Temperatures uh, tonight a little bit cool, but steady. Temperatures in the mid-upper 50s across Metro Detroit. Watch for fog and some of that could be locally dense fog, too, developing overnight into the morning. And then as we go through our Monday, temperatures right around 80 degrees, so right back into summer-like temperatures for several days. With the warmth, the humidity, we stand the chance for an isolated or scattered shower or storm in the afternoon or evening, Monday, Tuesday, and then more so on Wednesday. The cold front comes through by the the end of the week and brings our temperatures back down into the 50s. Nurses from the University of Michigan are set to begin voting tomorrow on a new contract. The nurses union represents 5700 nurses in the University of Michigan health system. Union officials say voting is set to last through Wednesday. Last week, union representatives and Michigan Medicine announced a three year tentative agreement after months of negotiations. Well, those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news and Anytime. I'm Amira David. Have a great night. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.